In the previous video, we looked at backing up and restoring platform services controllers. In this video, we, we will look at vSphere data protection appliance and the command line interface that really comes in handy when we don't have a graphical user interface to look at. The commands that we will cover are the mccli commands. We will look at the mccli server subcommand primarily. The em web app command, which is really uh, useful uh, to make sure that with the uh, web application management interface is up. There will be other status commands to check on uh, capacity, uh, storage, and uh, others, as well as how to manage the VMware tools service, uh, because that is key for setting up a proper implementation of the VDP. So I have secured shelled in into our vSphere data protection appliance. That's at 192.168.0.60. I logged in as uh, admin and entered my password and I'm logged in into the first uh, VDP that's uh, running at headquarters. So the first command to take a look at is uh, status.dpn which basically gives you the, the status of the entire uh, VDP. It uh, has the information about the node itself. Uh, the IP address is uh, 60. The uh, uh, version num uh, number is 7.2.8 and so on. Uh, it's online, full access, uh, everything seems to be running okay. Percentage full, it's about 1.5% full. And uh, the last checkpoint status is, is there as well. Everything looks to be good here. System status okay, access full. Uh, some information about uh, maintenance windows and uh, so on. So this is really good for getting an overall uh, status of uh, the uh, uh, appliance. Now, I'm going to have to hit clear just about after every uh, command here. And uh, one of the key things that we have to do, and uh, we had this uh, issue when we first installed our uh, VDP, is to get the network time protocol, NTP, to uh, synchronize properly. Well, even after setting everything up properly, if you recall, I had to restart uh, VMware uh, tools to first to make sure that they are running. Service VMware tools status and uh, only root can <laughs> use uh, service and so we changed over to root uh, service vmware tools status and vmware tools daemon is uh, running uh, in our case uh, we had to restart vmware tools so service vmware tools and I'm just going to hit the enter key and uh, basically the uh, options we have are start stop status that we already looked at restart or force reload uh, I had to use a restart uh, the last time and uh, once I did that then NTP uh, synchronized so uh, this is a, a really good way to uh, make sure uh, that VMware tools is running in case you have uh, issues another good command is em web app command em web app dot shell the uh, user interface or the management user interface for vdp is available at port 8543 slash vdp dash configure if you're unable to get to that uh, website then uh, more than likely the web service for that has to be restarted so the tomcat server it has to be restarted and uh, this is the command that one can use to see if that is up and running and so the uh, enterprise uh, manager web application status is up so I, I did a slash slash uh, test we can try this command without the arguments and uh, it does uh, nothing but uh, if you want to start it up again then that's the command uh, to use uh, to restart it you can also dash dash stop or dash dash start could be the arguments uh, as well for em web app so this is a uh, really uh, good one uh, to know time to clear the uh, screen again and take a look at some more uh, commands uh, one is the checkpoint list so the uh, data production appliance uh, takes uh, checkpoints on a regular basis just to make sure that our uh, checkpoints are in order you can do a checkpoint uh, list and uh, what it basically says is that uh, th these are the checkpoints uh, that were uh, taken and uh, everything is looking uh, pretty pretty good 
so we can we can basically uh, uh, leave it at that for this uh, course this is uh, enough of uh, explanation another key command is uh, mc uh, cli and uh, you can see that there are a lot of subcommands uh, for this as well uh, a key subcommand here uh, would be to just look at the server itself the vdp appliance uh, its uh, properties and so the command for that is uh, mc cli server show the properties and uh, here we have that command everything is in good shape total capacity 575.9 13.3 gig utilization 2.3 it's been running for six or seven days and that's the uh, ip address one uh, node and that's online so this has to do basically with your uh, proxies uh, remember that we can uh, start up other uh, proxies for vdp as well so one proxy on every host so that the traffic can be directly to the host and not uh, via the the main node all the time and uh, we will hit clear again and explore a few other uh, commands the uh, capacity command is is a good one capacity dot uh, shell and uh, this uh, basically analyzes the uh, consumption of space so gc is uh, garbage collection so new data and then how much of that can be uh, removed so the net change is is out here and then uh, top three high change clients so these are the clients that actually are the ones that are causing the highest rate of change and uh, as you can see the uh, platform services controller that we backed up in the last video is one of them uh, as well it's not so much in terms of the uh, space but uh, still uh, it is uh, it's, it's not too big but anyway this is the one that uh, one can take a look at this command capacity to sell so you can you can see what are the high change clients that's a good thing to know for uh, tuning purposes uh, because uh, clients that have high change if you're also replicating them uh, then you need to be careful uh, so that there's uh, not too much data to be sent across uh, to the replication site on a restricted bandwidth otherwise your uh, recovery point objectives uh, will be violated very very uh, quickly there is another command that called uh, replicate that's useful to know although the user interface uh, does allow very easy use of the replicated uh, backups uh, but this is what I really like. I really like the whole idea of uh, being able to replicate backups and then being able to bring the backups uh, back. So uh, to restore replicated backups, that is. Well, there's a user interface. We've seen that before uh, to do that. And we actually had a video where we went through the whole uh, process. Uh, but if you want to do it on the command line, uh, that's uh, the command to use. Command is called uh, replicate. How to use it is uh, basically uh, right here and uh, this is a really nice example of how one can be sure that it actually does uh, work so the uh, replicate uh, command is uh, something you should keep in your uh, back pocket or look up the uh, documentation if you need to know more uh, about it so we've looked at uh, most of the useful uh, cli commands for the data protection appliance the status dot dpn displayed the vdp status overall the um, mc cli server show dash prop was probably the best one because it uh, kind of pulls everything together and it's uh, worth looking at uh, that one one more time this is one of my more used commands because it gives me uh, everything in a in a very easy to understand uh, manner and uh, from a troubleshooting perspective the em web app dash dash test would be that's a shell actually em web app dot sh and the enterprise manager web applications up this is uh, to make sure that your management user interface at port 8543 is uh, up and running and then of course the the, the command for uh, service and I believe I can say slash dash dash status dash all. Yeah, that's right. So uh, this is the one that uh, gives us uh, the status of uh, all the services that are actually uh, running on this appliance. And uh, you can see up at the top, tools is running. The uh, file level restore service is running. 
and a whole bunch of uh, other stuff so if you have a real interest in uh, looking at this in uh, great detail then uh, that's a good command to have in your back uh, pocket uh, as well uh, to make sure that all the services are uh, up and running the ones that need to be up are actually uh, running okay with that uh, we come to the end of this uh, lab a quick uh, work through the command line for the vSphere data protection appliance the troubleshooting commands and the overall uh, capacity.sh commands as well as the uh, show dash prop argument for the mccli server uh, are probably the ones that one would use most often having covered the command line for the vdp we come to the end of this section and series of videos in the next section we will look at advanced vSphere 6.x security. I look forward to seeing you there.